everyone it's Carla here thank you so much for coming to my channel I hope that this video is helpful for you and if you do like the video I hope that you like and subscribe I will be posting every week different videos homeschool life mom life grocery hauls meal plans of the week meals of the day so if that's your thing I hope that you subscribe and stick around if you do hear noise in the background or if you hear um, you know any kind of distractions I apologize I'm waiting for a mic to come in so that I can hook it up to my camera and I do have two kids 10 year old and three year old and I'm a homeschooler mom so I'm not gonna do anything like super fancy like a super fancy setup or anything like this is real life and so hopefully you're down with that um I I'm assuming that if you're watching this video that you're thinking about homeschooling or you're thinking about staying home with your little ones. I'm home with my little ones 24-7. So if you hear any noise in the background, that's that. <laughs> I can't really do much about that. So yeah, my setup is around them. So if they need me, they can come get me. I left my job back in August so that I could be home full time. My husband works during the day. So I school and everything else from home. Of course, we do go out and everything and I'll get into that in other videos. But in this video, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about our background and why we chose to homeschool. So my daughter started off in daycare when she was two years old. She did daycare from two years old until, until she turned four. And then from then on, she did pre-K through fourth grade in public school the same public school the entire time she's always been she's not like a social butterfly or anything she's always had her select friends um so instead of like social stuff like she's always done well in public school she was doing fine up until third grade the fourth grade year the the this past year was a disaster um she had to experience things like bullying um, people teasing her just for being herself she she loves to read she's always kind to people and the bullying just got out of, out of hand like she would come home upset like when I would pick her up from school she was a car rider so I would pick her up from school and she was upset and then I didn't like how many children were in one classroom there were about 30 children in one classroom so I was like surely they have a another teacher in there to help out but no it was one teacher with almost 30 kids in the class and then i remember after they did their winter break um we did like parent teacher conferences and everything like that and the teacher told me that she was actually getting two more children in her class because there is a shortage of teachers if you didn't know like there's a shortage of teachers so i was like goodness that'll be like 32 children in one class with one teacher um and then there was an incident that was the last straw for me um, a little girl hit my daughter in the eye and I went up to the school. Well, I, of course, I asked my daughter what happened first and she told me the story. I'm not one of those parents that says, oh, my children can't do anything wrong. Or, no, like I asked their side of the story and then I asked the teacher's side or what have you. And my daughter, she tells the truth. And I went to the teacher and I asked her what happened and she told me something completely different and even other students in the class told me that what the teacher said was not true. I've never had a issue with my daughter's behavior from daycare all the way up to all the years she was in school. I've never gotten a bad report. Okay, one sec. Okay, I'm back. The toddler called. <laughs> he wanted his crayons. But yes, yeah, so I had never gotten a bad report about my daughter's behavior. Literally never. So when the teacher told me the story that she told me, I'm like, no, something doesn't sound right. And I found out that she was telling, she wasn't telling the truth. The teacher wasn't telling the truth. So I kid you not, that incident happened. The, the little girl hitting my daughter in the eye, that happened one day and then literally the next day i went and i withdrew my daughter from school i turned in my declaration of intent and we started our homeschool journey that's exactly how it went because i got tired of seeing my daughter frustrated i got tired of her questioning herself because of what other little children were telling her like there's a lot of stuff i won't put on the internet but she had to deal with some like cruel mean just downright just stuff that you don't want your child to have to deal with for seven to eight hours out of the day it's just unacceptable i had already thought about 
homeschooling the year prior so her third grade year i was already talking to my husband like i really do think i want to homeschool you know like this is time i can't get back so i would really like to homeschool but we were going to finish out elementary school so i was going to let her do finish out fourth grade fifth grade and then for middle school and high school i plan on homeschooling but since that fourth grade year was so like traumatic i was like you know what let this is my sign like i should have done i have a crayon in my hand because he wants my son wants me to color like the little girl hitting her in the eye like that was the last straw for me because i'm like if it's if the bullying is getting physical then we need to go i'm not about to keep my child there yeah that's right i said the same thing my daughter was also telling me about the things that she was witnessing teachers say to other children and believe me if you don't go up to those schools whether it be public charter schools private schools if you don't go to the school like regularly or check in if we don't check in with our kids on a regular basis that we're never going to know what's going on in there so she was telling me how she heard like the pe teacher call a boy fat or fatty or something like that and then um, she would hear the teachers talking about inappropriate things like why they would be on the playground and stuff and I'm just like why are they talking about this stuff in front of kids but it, like I said the the unprofessionalism from the teachers the bullying it was just a, it was just a little too much and yes we could have changed schools but like I said we were already thinking about homeschooling I just did it way earlier than we planned on doing it and and it's been the best decision that I've made. Like, I'm I'm completely content and happy with my decision. I have peace of mind. I feel safe. My daughter is happier. I'm happier. We're finding our groove. Now, in, in the beginning, it was, it was rough. And I'll get into that <laughs> in a different video. So, make sure you come back for that one. I get time with my children. Like, yes, I don't get a lot of free time as a, as a parent. And as myself, I don't get a lot of free time. But... I'm so grateful to have this time with my kids because before I know it, they're going to grow up and that'll be it. Well, it won't be it. It'll be it for them being for them being kids. I feel like I made the right decision. Yeah, I know this wasn't a long video. I just wanted to give a quick story about why we started to homeschool. Like, peaceful. We feel peaceful. I Thank you all so much for watching and I really do hope that you all come back if you got something out of this video or if you felt any kind of confirmation or affirmation from this video i hope that you all consider subscribing and liking the video and i will see you all in the next one and i hope that you enjoy the future videos take care